Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Cloud and AI Analytics. Hope everyone is doing good. I am Vignesh and in this video we are going to do practical implementation on Cloud Data Prop. So as part of this video we will be reading data from Cloud BigQuery, do some transformation and then finally write it to Cloud Storage Bucket. The important thing to note about this video is how we are going to implement it. I have implemented in such a way in how they will be implementing it in the real time using cloud data proc in Google Cloud Platform. So without any further delay, let's get started. So first I'll explain you the shell script, then what is this Python script. So first if you see, I'm getting the current date runtime. So this is where our job is actually starting. Then we are enabling the APIs. So whatever APIs we are implementing or we are using as part of this demo, like one is data proc, the next one is compute engine, storage and BigQuery. So these are the services which we will be using as part of this demo. And then I am exporting the cloud storage bucket. So I am configuring this as a variable and I will be passing this variable as part of the different operators or different functionalities. Like what are the variables is Google Cloud project, the project ID, the region, zone and the bucket name, finally the cluster name. So first thing is we'll be creating the cloud storage bucket. So this bucket, we'll be using it to write the cloud final output. So I'm just using gsutil make bucket, this region US East for and the bucket name. So bucket name would be demo dataset hyphen big lane. So the next thing is how we are creating data proc cluster. So echo creating data proc cluster in which region. So here if you see, G cloud data proc cluster create cluster name and enable component gateway. So this is where you will be establishing the connection to Jupyter, other factors like Spark and uh, Hadoop components, Yarn, so yet another resource management. So other different big data components and then followed by region zone and the project ID. Then this is going to be a single node cluster. So basically in cloud data proc, we have three. One is single node cluster where you can have only work master node, not worker nodes. The next one is standard and the third one is high availability cluster. So this is the master machine type followed by master boot disk size image version. I'm using 2.0 Debian Linux based machine and the optional component. I'm trying to install Jupyter notebook as well, part of this and followed by label. So I have given label as environment equal to dev and then initialization action. So this is where I'm introducing this cloud data proc cluster to BigQuery and cloud storage bucket. This is cloud storage bucket path and this is internally configured by Google Cloud itself. So GS Google data proc initialization action and which region US ceased for connectors and connectors.sh. So if you wanted to know what is present inside this, you can obviously use GS util cat and from GS till connectors.sh, you can see whatever the code which is present inside that file. And then metadata. So if you want to install any packages, any third party packages, you can use this metadata and use this command pip packages to install this. I'm not going to use this, but I just wanted to show you how to install. So that's why I have added this as part of this code. And followed by metadata. So BigQuery connector version and Spark BigQuery connector version. Final, finally, GS connector version that is cloud storage connector version and respective versions ID. So this is how we'll be creating the data proc cluster. And this is a simple functionality. So here we wanted to check the status of above or uh, previous statement. So if dollar question mark equal to zero. So it means the cluster is successfully created. If it has some other value except for zero, then it is going to create a cluster and it will exit out that will it will throw you an error and then next we are going to submit PySpark job so gcloud data proc job submit this is PySpark and this is where i'll be placing my shell script so city bike.py is my PySpark shell script this is the cluster name everything is configured only nothing is hard coded everything will be configurable driven and this is the jar so here you can see spark bigquery latest 2.12 jar so I'm going to use everything the latest Spark version or do question. So I'm using the same thing here. And this is driver logs level, root fatal and followed by the bucket name. So this is nothing but it's an argument which I'm passing to this particular cluster. So here if you see this city bike.py script file will expect an value that is argument from the command. 
so now i'll explain you what is the city bike dot py is doing so here you can see import sys and i'm importing this park session column boolean type those things so it is expecting an argument that is the bucket name sys dot argument one and i'm passing the bucket as a variable here so bucket and this is the source table bigquery this is nothing but a public data set new york city bike dot city bike underscore strips and bucket path followed by like i'll print you what is the path which i'm going to write the final output and what is the bucket name as well so here i'm creating this park session and followed by i'm reading bigquery table so here i'm filtering on particular column start station id and i'm removing all the null values and i'm grouping by same column counting it order by and finally limiting it with 10 values and then finally creating a data frame out of it and then writing that data frame to this particular bucket so at the runtime you will be able to see what is the bucket name and what is the path where you can find the final output so once this is done then the same functionality it will check whether the previous operation is successful or not based on that it will print it Finally, we are going to delete our data proc cluster using this command gcloud data proc clusters delete the cluster name and the respective region. This iPhone iPhone quite is nothing but if I'm not using this particular parameter, it is going to ask me yes or no. In order to remove that or in order to avoid that, I'm using this quite. By default, it will take yes and it will delete the cluster. And finally, this is what. So this is what the code we are going to implement. And this is how we'll be implementing it at the real time. So we are taking the shell script and we are passing it every valuable through configurable driven. So you can do it here or else you can do it through YAML file as well. So I'll explain you that approach in the next video. For now, we will start with this. So I am inside my console. This is the two script file. I have to open my terminal. You can just click on this command palette and go in there. So yes, I am here inside my terminal and I'm going inside the path here. Cloud data proc. I'm doing list here and I'm inside this end to end. So if you see here, I have placed my PySpark script file and this is my shell script. So now you don't need to do anything. You have to just execute the script. All the other things will be taken care of. In the upcoming video, I'll show you how to automate or how to orchestrate using Cloud Scheduler and also using Apache Airflow as well. Now I'll clear my command shell and I'll execute this data proc and in enter. So here you can see starting what is the date and the current time. All the services are getting enabled now. So I'm now creating the bucket GS demo dataset weekly. So here you can go to this data proc cluster just refresh here you will be able to see one cluster will be in the provisioning state so it means it is getting created now we have to wait for three to four minutes i'll pass this video and i'll resume once this data pro cluster is ready so yeah our cluster is ready after four minutes our cluster is ready demo data pro cluster PySpark. so here you can see name cluster uuid type status and what is the job all those things you will be able to see it here and web interfaces here you can see jupyter lab jupyter notebook and yarn resource manager map reduce job history so just click on this spark history server here you will be able to see this spark page map reduce yarn here fresh because the cluster has not we have not submitted any job in this cluster so we will continue exploring here you can see gcloud data proc job submit by spark so here you can see submitting PySpark job and this is the job ID. So demo data set big click. So we are passing the bucket name from this to this command to this here. So here we can just go inside this cluster, go under this jobs. So you will be able to find one job is currently in the running state. Click on this. You will be taken into this job page. So this is the job ID. The same you can find it here 205. Here you can see 205 submitted. So it is done. Like configurations, all those things you can explore those things. Here you can see this is demo data set, and this is the path where you will be seeing your final output. This final output you will be able to see it in this CSV file. And once that is done, here you can see the job is completed. So once after completing this, our job is completed. 
success pyspark pyspark job ran successfully then we are getting to this deleting data proc cluster so here you can see it is waiting for cluster deletion the same you can cross check from here cluster has been deleted so yes success data proc cluster deleted successfully we will cross check the final output as well so just go into this cloud storage and our bucket name is demo data set big lake click on this here you can see city bikes our final output and this is the csv file so in order to see the result you can just copy this go inside this clear the terminal and use gsutil cat and paste it and you will be able to see the final output if you want to cross check this go here demo data set go to data proc go to data proc go to jobs you will be able to find the jobs here so jobs succeeded just click on this and you will be able to find it though the cluster is deleted you will be able to find the jobs everything in this job page so that's it for this video i hope this is more informative this is how people will be implementing in the real time as well if you have any questions any doubt please post that in the comment section i'll take a look at it and reply to it as soon as possible please do like comment share and subscribe to cloud and ai analytics i'll see you in the next video with more interesting content until then it's bye from viknesh happy learning